Hello everybody, welcome to another video on Fort Vlogs channel. Now, this is not a normal video that you would see from me, but I feel it's very important to get it out there because the information that I'm about to give you is for 5M developing, but it's not information that is really readily available to anyone anymore or not anymore but any now because it's such a new thing coming up with 5m 5m is having any public servers i'm not sure about whitelisted servers but they're having public servers um get rid of any vehicles that have logos on them like a ford nissan toyota stuff like that so, I'm here today to teach you how to debadge cars the freeway uh, without Z modeler or anything like that. So, first, you want to go to your Blender app. And second, if you have it installed on Steam, which I highly recommend because you won't be able to do this fairly easy as far as I'm aware through downloading on Blender's website. But you want to hit, you want to right click, hit properties, then betas, and then you want to go to 4.0 stable. Now, now that you've done with that, we can wait on that. You want to go to your folders, go to whatever storage location you prefer. You want to hit, you want to make a new folder, but I already have this folder, so I'm not going to make it. And then you want to call it, if I can find it, debadged cars, if you can see that. Then inside that debadged, you want to create these three files. Debadged complete, needs debadged, and XML. Actually, cor incorrect. I apologize about that. I'm not going off of a script here. But you want to create these three files. At the minimum, these two. Now that you've made those files, you are wanting to go to Solemns Blender Plugin. And then you will want to download it as a zip and then leave it as a zip. And now you will want to go and download Code Walker. And then you'll download that as a zip. And then you will leave it as this. When you open up the zip, you can download it and it will just be the .exe, which I will show you in just a minute. Now that you have the Solemn Blender and also Code Walker, we are going to GTA 5 mods to get a car that we want to input into a server. Now this is going to be just an add-on vehicle, not ELS. Now if we look for a vehicle uh, we are however going to do a non leo vehicle because I don't want to deal with something that I've noticed with the leo vehicle there's a circle inside blender that I don't want to deal with alright now that you have the car You want to make sure that you drag out all the stuff, so all the RPFs and or the YTDs and whatnot. But I'm gonna make this easy on me and just do 5M ready and then download a car because I am lazy. All right. Um. Alright, 
God dang it. All right, here we go. So this one is for some odd reason named Cookie, but we're just going to extract it. All right. I have no clue where that just extracted to. That's great. Okay, that's where it. Sweet. All right. That is not where that. There we go. All right. So now that we have our vehicle ready, we have the stream, which I don't know why he did it like this. And we will want to take the first YFT right here. Now we're going to copy it, go back to that uh, debatch cars, and I can delete all these ones because I don't need those anymore. And now we have this YFT and the needs to debatch. Now we will go to Code Walker. I have mine extracted, you don't have to. And then you'll want to open Code Walker RPF Explorer. Dot exe. Once you have it open, you want to hit File, Open Folder, and then you want to click on Needs to Debatched. Then you want to hit Cookies. Then you want to do Export as XML. And then you'll still keep this in the Needs Debatched. And then you'll hit Save. Now, once you're done with that, you can hit the minus, 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 and then you will want to open up Blender. Now a reminder, we are in the 4.0 stable version of the beta. Of course, it will want to crash on me, of course. All right. Now, when you get inside Blender, optional, you don't have to, but I prefer to do it on my own. You can delete all these, and then you will be left with this. Now, you'll have a tool called Solemn Tools, but it will not be installed. This is where you go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and then wherever you kept that download, you'll want to go to that .zip, and then click on the zip file, and then Install Add-on. And then you'll find it that says... It will be unchecked inside of this area as import export solemns. And then you'll hit this check mark and then click that arrow like I did earlier. And then you'll be able to click on solemn tools. Then you'll want to hit general, import code, and then you'll want to go down to that file where you'd saved the XML file. And then you'll want to import. As it will take a second, it will pop up as a blocky figure. Then over here, you want to hit hide collisions. And then as you can see, you'll be left with this model. Then you'll want to zoom in where two of the badges are. You want to click on the scene collection up there and then press tab or you might have to click on that part then you want to hit in that center mark 
and then hit J or sorry not J L and as you can see it will select that badge area and then you'll want to right click and then hit delete vertices and then if you're a really good modeler you want to do extrude vertices that's right it's not L or it's not J it's L crap crap there we go or how I, I honestly don't know what it is but um, I, I'm just doing a uh, I don't know what it is but you can fill in that hole with something then after that instead of hitting export and file you want to hit export code as XML and then you will want to save that inside the folder from earlier but instead I want to save it inside viewer and then you'll want to hit export and now you are done with Blender, you want to hit X, or there you go, now exported. You want to wait until it says exported down here. Then you want to hit X, and don't worry if it shows up as red, you have not done anything wrong. And then you want to hit don't save. Open up that file. That's not what I want. And now you'll want to open up the code walker, file, open folder, viewer, select folder, and you make sure that you want to hit edit mode. Um, no, I apologize. This is not the way that, um, I do apologize. I am getting confused. You want to do, pretty sure, or you drag it maybe? Yeah, you'll drag it. And then it will turn into the YFT. Um, I do believe I missed a step. Sorry, I do apologize. I did learn about this just earlier tonight. I, uh, didn't learn it very thoroughly. There might be an option on some cars to do a 
underscore HML, or sorry, a underscore YFT. I'm not sure if this is a car that will in particularly deal with it. But as when you are done here, you will want to copy and paste this YFT into the folder that has the stream and data inside of here you want to click and drag probably and then you'll want to replace the file and then just in case you'll want to right click open with open IV you can view it through the RPF Explorer but mine personally has crashed so I prefer to do it through open IV and then as you can see that badge is now gone now I'm not sure if that will be a total hole that you'll have to fill in somehow but that's not hard to do in blender and then you are all done